Okay, today we are going to discuss the difference between ZU140 and ZU2101. The difference is that ZU140 has more of a squared U end. As you can see here, see how it looks more like a box? Mm -hmm. Whereas the ZU2101 has more of a U shape. See how it's U shaped? The U shape allows you to have flexibility and bend it around a circle with ease. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of questions we get are how large of a circle can you put the ZU2101, the flexible zinc? The answer to the question is as large as you would like. It will easily bend around any circle of any diameter. Now the true question is how small of a circle will this go around? So for example, we have a six inch circle here. And if I gently wrap it around, you can see that it will flex around the circle without kinking. Now let me show you what happens if you use the non-flexible zinc. If you use the non-flexible zinc, when you bend it, see how the zinc starts curving? It doesn't have the ability to go around the circle. That is why we recommend using the flexible U channel. Here is a three inch circle. And as you can see with the three inch circle, it will, let me hold it properly, go around the circle. With the two inch circle, we found that it will go around but it, you need to be more careful because as you can see the limitations, see how I can bend it and it will kink. But if I use my fingers to do it gently, it will still have some bending. So a two inch circle, you will have the kinking. But if you go to a three inch circle, a three inch circle is your limit for a smooth bend. <laughs> and I'd probably recommend doing this on a table so you're not trying to not drop your glass. <laughs> now, See how you do have some kinking here with the smaller circles? That you would use a pair of pliers with a piece of a cloth in there and just squeeze that down for the couple of kinks. Mm -hmm. I mean, bigger circles, it works very nicely. Yeah. So as you can see, you can use the zinc on large circles, uh, and what it will do is it's not actually adding structure, but it's making it so you can't peel off your foil. Um, the other key is when you solder your hooks on, make sure the hook is not soldered to the actual zinc framing. You solder it into your solder seam for structural soundness.